All right, you're here because you either want to lose weight, gain weight, or maybe even stay at the same weight and just grow some muscle with it. Uh, and you just don't know where to start because it's too overwhelming. There's just so much that goes into it, including diet, training, and more. So I'm hopefully going to help explain uh, where to get started, and I'm really hoping it helps you out. All right, let's get into it. All right, the first one I'm going to start off with, if you've watched my channel at all, is diet. Diet is so important. Uh, and if you want to kind of lose some weight, you're going to probably have to cut back on some calories and be in a caloric deficit. And, uh, that just means that you have to be under, uh, the amount of calories that your body needs to have in order to maintain your weight. Um, or you're maybe wanting to bulk and you're going to have to be in a calorie surplus and just take in more calories than your body needs to maintain. Well, you're probably asking yourself, how do I even figure out, uh, how many calories I need? Well, there's an app for that online. That app is a TDEE calculator, which stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure Calculator. And what you can do is you can put in your age, your height, your weight, how active you are, and your body fat percentage. And it will tell you how many calories you probably should be taking in if you want to cut, bulk, or maintain. Now, with that being said, uh, I find that it's a little high on the calorie amount but it still gets you in a ballpark of what you need. Now you're probably saying, I don't know my body fat percentage. I'm just now starting out. How do I figure this out? Well, you can just go online and sometimes you'll find images of uh, different body fat percentages. So you can find five to uh, like 25% and it gives you a range of images of what that would look like on a person. And you can kind of just guesstimate what you are and I would just start off with that. The other thing I wanna recommend uh, when you're trying to figure out your diet uh, and you have your calorie amount, it's gonna be a trial for that TDEE calculator. Make sure uh, you're doing it for about a week or two, and if you're not seeing many results, then cut down the calorie amount a little bit. Uh, so personally, as a reference, I take in about 22 calories during a cut, 2,100 calories during a cut, um, and if I'm like trying to stay at the same weight, I'm taking 2,500, and if I'm really trying to gain a lot of mass, then I'm gonna be taking around 3,000 or 2,900. So. That's me personally, but um, again, try to uh, monitor how you're doing on the scale and then kind of increase the uh, calorie amount or decrease the calorie amount that you need to do in order to uh, lose that weight or gain that weight. And I really don't recommend going below 1700 calories uh, at all when trying to lose weight because then it just is like too much. Try to stay at least above 1700 calories. That's just me telling you Again, if there's any more concerns, see a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but again, um, that's how I would approach it. All right, the other important thing with this is a food scale. Uh, I use food scales all the time. You don't absolutely need one uh, right off the rip, but I think they're super helpful because they give you the exact amount of calories that are going into what you're eating. Uh, you can find them pretty much anywhere, very cheap, uh, and they're very useful. If you don't want to do that, there's also apps. So I use MyFitnessPal, or used to use MyFitnessPal, um, but MyFitnessPal allows you to scan almost every food item that you uh, buy from the store, and it counts in the calorie amount, as well as the other macros and vitamins that are within that food item. So this can be very helpful in terms of adding up what you're eating throughout the day and making sure you continue your progress and stay on track uh, with where you need to be. All right, workouts. You can get them online pretty much anywhere. Uh, I recommend going on bodybuilding.com. It's a large health and fitness community that you can uh, look up and find information about pretty much anything on there, but they have a lot of workouts that you can find. And I would recommend starting off with a three or five days a week uh, in the gym. And then once you really get uh, the good feel for it, then that's when I would bump it up to five to six days and then have like one break day. So that break day is really important. That way it allows your muscles to relax and uh, kind of rebuild before kind of going at it again. When starting to work out, I would recommend doing compound movements. And I recommend doing compound movements because it involves a lot of different muscle groups and it's really good for just growth in general. This includes bench, deadlift, squat, uh, overhead press, and more, and you can find them online uh, as well. But with that being said, uh, as a beginner, I find it very challenging walking into the gym and trying to get on a machine because you're like, where's this machine at? Or what knob do I press? Which do I pull? What am I doing? 
And uh, sure enough, it's just a little too overwhelming at times. So I would start off with just going to the benches, getting some dumbbells uh, and going to the cables and the squat rack and just kind of getting familiar in those areas because there's a lot that you can do within those areas. When working out with dumbbells, cables, or uh, barbells, whatever you're using, kettlebells, I don't really care. Make sure you're keeping control and you're keeping form. And this is very important. When people first start out, they usually just see a lot of online videos of people being really strong and they're like, I wanna do that. And they just kind of jerk up the weight. Please don't do that because you're gonna hurt your growth. When you're keeping control, you're really, uh, if you're able to do it correctly throughout the majority of your workouts, you're gonna strengthen your core a lot and tremendously. And then along with that, if you're keeping good form, uh, you're gonna be able to kind of outgrow those people that are just jerking up the weights long-term. So you're probably trying to figure out, well, if, I'm, if I need to keep great form, uh, how do I figure that out? Well, just look up YouTube videos of people working out or just go to social media. There's a lot out there, people doing good form and showing you the correct way of doing things. And there's plenty out there and make sure that uh, you're doing it correctly and right. That way you also don't hurt yourself. Another thing I would recommend is a workout partner. It's not absolutely necessary, uh, but I think it really does help. One, if you're really competitive and they're competitive, it can help push you guys. So you can push them and they can push you. Uh, the other thing too is it can help you with a spotter if you're ever doing bench or dumbbells or some sort of situation where you need a spotter or some guidance to get the weight up, they can be there for you and help with that. And it just is gonna allow you to grow even stronger and uh, you'll, you'll see and understand uh, how beneficial it really can be. A workout partner just also reinforces you to make sure you're going to the gym and getting everything done that you need to get done. Uh, this can be either in yoga or some other class. You can also do a bike class or walking or just doing weights like we're talking about. Really pretty much anything that you can do, you can get a workout partner for and they can kind of help you along the way. This next one's a little taboo and that's taking pictures and videos. So taking pictures and videos is very helpful because when you're losing weight, sometimes you're gaining weight on the scale and you're like, why am I gaining this weight? Why am I gaining 10 pounds? Well, muscle weighs more than fat. So you, sometimes that happens. But if you're not taking pictures, you probably won't understand that. And it takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to things. And so those pictures, if you're taking them daily or even weekly, they can help tremendously because you're seeing yourself in the mirror every day and you're not noticing these changes that's happening. But your phone camera will over time. So I definitely recommend pictures. I recommend videos uh, for during your workouts. And this is because it really helps understand uh, the form that you're doing and how to correct and get everything right. So that way, if you're looking up uh, your workout forms uh, on YouTube or just Google or wherever you're going to look up form, then you can kind of compare what you did compared to what they did and make sure you're doing it right. The last ones are sleep and water. So sleep is very important. A lot of people think that you gain muscle from going to the gym and that's not really true yes you are gaining muscle from going to the gym but what's happening is you're causing a lot of stress and fatigue on your muscles but when you're getting enough sleep and rest that's when your recovery happens and your muscles are actually growing during that period of time so i would definitely recommend getting uh seven hours at least and if you can get eight or more uh, i know sometimes it can be hard but again try your best to get that water is the other really important thing uh, I recommend getting at least a half gallon when you're starting out. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, information out there on how much you should be taking in. I recommend a gallon if you can. And I definitely recommend carrying something that you can to make sure you're getting that water intake when you need it. So I really hope this video was uh, enjoyable for you guys. And I really hope that you got something out of it. Again, just kind of look online, browse, try to uh, dip your toe in the water, so to speak, on figuring out this journey that you want to take. And really what's going to help you uh, stay in it for the long run and not just the short run. So I really hope this video helped. Please like, subscribe, and comment uh, on if this helped at all and uh, more to come.